Hi, this is Dan from Update My Dynaco. Going to talk about a new kit that we've got today. And it really answers the question, what are the differences between an upgraded Stereo 120 and a GT 102? Well, they're kind of close. Really, one of the biggest differences is that a GT 102 has a lovely speaker muting relay so that as it turns on and turns off, nothing but the music starts and then it stops when you turn off the power. Turns out that the Stereo 120 upgrades never included that muting relay. Really, you don't need it, but it's a nice little touch. So I've now made a kit that adds that muting relay possibility to the upgraded Stereo 120. Let's take a look. Let's lift the lid and see what this new kit looks like. So this is a 120 that has been upgraded. It's got the really big heat sink for the power supply, the C12UU upgrade kit that gives you 20,000 plus microfarads for the power supply. It has the new amplifier modules with what we call the super duper heat sinks. That's these guys. But the new thing we've got here is back in the place where C11 used to mount, we have a relay board and that relay board is the speaker muting relay. So let's take a little closer look at the speaker muting relay board if we can get a tight shot of that. So let's see the muting relay in action. What we're going to do is turn the amp on. And we'll just wait because there's about a 20 second time where the power supply comes up and where we're charging up these capacitors and the big capacitors. And during all of that time, the relay connects the amplifier outputs to these load resistors. Now you see about 20 seconds in, the LED came up and you probably, if you were listening carefully, you could hear the click of the relay. So what happens is any of the initial charging transients, which are really very well handled in the 101s and the uh, 120 upgrades, they're small. But if you wanted to get that next bit of perfection, you could have those transients completely bypass the speakers into the load resistors. And we have a situation where you just get instant perfect sound after 20 seconds. And now when it's time to turn the amp off, what you'll see is about two seconds goes by. The voltage here stored in the large capacitor fades down to the point where we say, okay, the voltage is going down, so its amp is being turned off. And then we take the speaker relay and we disconnect the amplifiers from the speaker binding posts. And that way you completely bypass any turn off transients. So you only get perfect and beautiful sound into your speaker.